time is here. On a picture-perfect Sunday afternoon for football in East Rutherford, New Jersey, the Colts' next 7U football team takes the field and gets set to square off with a Hoboken Red Wings. And looking down here as the Colts' next 7U club takes the field, you see some of the stars, Sal Skiandra, Leo Sella, William Dawson goes by Will J. Just some of the young talent on this roster that is loaded that we will see here today in East Rutherford. John Cefeli, head coach, you see his son out there taking the field with the rest of his teammates. And this is such a dangerous offensive attack. Finn Sweeney at tight end, Sebastian Sika. Pay close attention to the offensive line. Mark Perosi, Frank LaRocca, two stars up front, and they're going to be a load to handle for this Red Wings defense. And you could just feel heading into MetLife today the excitement. The tailgate lots were packed. Everybody was out there early. One of those days where you got blue skies overhead, sun shining, temperatures in the 60s. This is what football's all about. And these guys on both sides have been raring and ready to go for this one. And set for the first snap here, the quarterback, Jackson Stoop. And he's going to turn around and hand this thing off. This is Nick Ziobro. He's got a lot of speed, and he's got some space on the left side. What a start for Nick Ziobro and the Colts' next 7U football team. Get another look at this. Hand off on the left side, and the Red Sea parts. And a great gain and a great start for this ball club. Ziobro known for his vision and his speed. Coach says there is no fear in number 24. He's one of the youngest, brightest stars on this team, and it was on display there to start this ball game. I guess the question after a play like that is, how does this Hoboken Red Wings defense bow up and try to stop this powerful offensive attack already knocking on the door in the red zone here? Stoop back under center. Eric Fuentes this time behind him. He'll get the carry. And he runs into a gang of tacklers. Brought down by a few Red Wings there after a short pickup. But this offensive line is very stout. Some big guys up front that can create some holes. And that'll be something to watch for this Cougars offense as this ball game continues to unfold. Oh, no, here's a little disaster. Stoop fumbles it on the pressure, but thankfully it is recovered. It looks like, yes, by the Colts Neck Ball Club, so they will be able to keep it here and keep this drive moving. Some celebration on the sideline from the cheerleaders. And the next play and more penetration, and Jackson Stoop is going to be sacked. Coming right up the middle. This is one of the top defenses in the league. And these Red Wings, led by Davis Sutherland, who's such a solid defender, able to get in that time and disrupt the play from the start. So that'll set him back a little ways. Got to think the ground game has been working. Stoop hasn't really done much through the air. We'll see if they run it here. And they do run it here. Try to get to the outside. Dylan Serzan, and Serzan is draped down. Tried to get the edge, could not quite get there. And Serzan's a quick kid. He is tough to track down, but that Red Wings defense was up for the challenge as they get him just inside the 30-yard line. Now John Cefeli, head coach of the Colts Net Cougars, said this is going to be no picnic. We came in here expecting a battle, and that has been the case so far here in front of over 80,000 and a sellout crowd at MetLife Stadium. And now some defensive substitutions. You see Jake Katz, Jimmy Mazza, Leo Patlin, Kalen Valencia coming in there. And they like to keep these players fresh on defense. They have so many talented pieces. And Coach Cefeli telling us yesterday in our meetings, we want to get all these guys reps because they all deserve it. They played so hard this year and bring so much talent to this side of the football. So they're going to come in there to challenge this talented Hoboken Red Wings offense. And try to hand it off, and Trotter fumbles it. 
Picks it back up, and look at that play defensively. He is brought down by Eric Fuentes, who was able to get penetration. A trotter, he, he bobbled it from the start, but still give Fuentes credit. Getting in there, defeating the block, and what a beautiful form tackle to get him for a five-yard loss. Top-ranked defense in the league, and they're showing you signs of how they got that ranking here so far today. And Fuentes, another guy with just a bright future. Not only that, he's getting it done in the classroom as well, and that's what's most important. They're going to try to hand it off in another fumble. Trotter tries to jump back on it, and he does. But penetration up the middle disrupted that. I think you saw Nico Higueros kind of get in there and really disrupt that from the start. And so another loss for the Red Wings. Now they'll try again here. And another fumble. It's a fumble fest at MetLife in the backfield. And they're going to get it again. They avoid disaster on three straight plays. And look at Higuero still going after the party, trying to get the football for the Colts' neck team, but he cannot. But just tremendous effort. Look at these guys getting in there, attacking the football, just like Coach Cefeli has taught them. And you have one, two, three, four guys in there. And then Higuero goes for the bear hug. He doesn't think the play's over. He wants the football. That's just how it was taught. Now Katz will get a breather, heading over to the sideline. Assistant coach Pete Fuentes helping with these substitutions. One of the great coaches on this John Cefeli staff. You also have Mike Patlin, Jesse Stoop, Cameron Valencia. Now they'll try to hand it off the Red Wings. They're going to try to get this to the outside. There's not a whole lot of space over there. Oh, wow. And look at Anderson still on his feet down the sideline and almost broke it. Getting all the way down near the five yard line before he's eventually brought down. Just a gorgeous day for football and this has been the battle that we expected to see. Two teams going toe to toe. And now they're gonna toss it up for the end zone. Oh, it's dropped. Although credit the Colts neck coverage, they had three defenders back there really disrupting the throw. And now let's go down to Carolyn Hendershot. She is with one of the stars of today's game, Jake Katz. I got Jake from Colts neck with me here. Jake, what was your favorite part about playing today? Today was, the, was really fun because everyone gets a tackle and we won on the field. What about, what's your favorite part of playing football here at MetLife? Uh, that, is, that is really big and that I got to do interview. Can we get a Let's Go Jets from you? Let's Go Jets! Woo, great job, Jake, thank you.